Once upon a time, there was a man with a blue beard named Bluebeard. Bluebeard had all the wealth he could possibly ask for, but whenever he talked to a woman, well, he wouldn't have the best of luck. Hey ladies, how's it going? Ew. Disgusting. Shape that thing off your face before you talk to us. Absolutely maidenless. Anyways, the neighbors of Bluebeard wanted one of their daughters to be married to him. So, what did you guys think? His Bluebeard is so ugly to look at. Come on, give him a chance. I think I'll pass. I also heard his ex wives have all been missing. Here, he's invited us over to his place for a party, and I think it'd be good if you got to know him. Do we have to go? Of course, even if you don't like him, it'll be fun either way. The party lasted for eight days. Eight days of non-stop dancing and feasting. Near the end of the party, the younger daughter changes her thoughts about marrying Bluebeard. You're pretty hot, Bluebeard. I know. Wait, weren't you married? Okay, let's get married. Yippee! About one month after their marriage. I have to go on a last second business trip downtown. I'm going to give you keys to every room in the house, including two rooms to all my riches. But I warn you, whatever you do, don't go in the locked room at the end of the corridor on the main floor. It's forbidden, and if you go in that room, I won't be able to spare you from my wrath. The wife couldn't stop her curiosity and decided to explore the room that Bluebeard forbid her to open. However, when she opened the door, she couldn't believe her eyes. <sighs> the room was filled with the corpses of his past wives. Truly a lady killer. Oh no! He's coming back soon! What should I do? Not that soon! You ungrateful Harla, how dare you disobey me? Say your prayers now. Surprise attack! Bluebeard had nobody in his will, and so all of his fortune went to his still very much alive wife. The, the end. End.